political analyst and joins us live from Baku. Welcome to the program. So tell us, why are these talks being held now? Thank you. Thank you for having me in your program. Uh, I think uh, no need to expect uh, very serious results from the Putin, Aliyev, Pashinyan meeting held in Sochi today, uh, because this meeting is only intended uh, to maintain the Russia's influence mechanism in the region and is a response to the United States and Europe, because uh, before that, uh, meetings uh, between uh, Azerbaijan and Armenia were held in the United States and in Europe, and official Washington and the European Union are uh, trying to conduct a mediation mission. And of course, this is against the Russia's uh, interest in the South Caucasus. And in this regard, uh, Vladimir Putin is uh, trying to show that Russia can be uh, the only mediator in this conflict and by meeting with Aliyev and Pashinyan from time to time. But uh, it is not in the interest, uh, to be honest, of Russia to solve this conflict once and for all, because if a peace agreement, peace treaty is signed between Azerbaijan and Armenia, it means that there will be no need for Russian peacekeeping forces to stay in the region. Uh, and then Russia's influence will be reduced to a minimum. For this reason, Russia is trying to prolong this negotiation process mm -hmm. as much as possible and maintain the status quo. On the other hand, the anti-Russian policy followed by the Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan in recent months uh, is also negatively received by Vladimir Putin and therefore by supporting the revanches and pro-Russian opposition in Armenia, the official Kremlin is actually trying to remove Nikol Pashinyan from power as well as obstructing the peace negotiation between Azerbaijan and Ar Armenia. And Sorry, Ahmed, just to be clear, uh, that, that's a very big and bold comment you've said there. The Kremlin is trying to remove Pashinyan from power? Yes, because of uh, Pashinyan's recent uh, progress policy and very uh, intensive contacts with Washington and European Union, and it is negatively uh, received by Kremlin. And yesterday, a large protest uh, action was held in Karabakh, in the city of Khan mm -hmm. against Azerbaijan, as well as the, against Nikol Pashinyan. And the Armenians in Karabakh declared that uh, they do not want to live uh, within the Azerbaijan Republic and that they want Russian troops to remain in Karabakh and this action is actually an event supported by Russia and shows once again that the Kremlin is playing uh, double games in the region. But in any okay. case, uh, the goal of Azerbaijan does not change. The Azerbaijan side demands the fulfillment of the requirements of the tripartite agreement uh, date November 10, 2020. And according to this agreement, all uh, military units belonging to Armenia should be completely removed from the uh, territories of Azerbaijan and Karabakh and the surrounding areas should be completely under the control of Azerbaijan army. Okay, thank you so much for uh, bringing us uh, uh, these details and analysis. That was Ahmad Shahidov, uh, political analyst, joining us there live from Baku. Appreciate it.